The ministers of public infrastructure and public security visited villages in the east bank of Barbies yesterday. Ronetta Cart reports. Yesterday, ministers of government held community outreaches at Lightung and Lonsdale Village on the east bank of Berbice to listen to the cries of the people. The ministers included Minister of Public Infrastructure, Honorable David Patterson, and Minister of Public Security, Honorable Kemrat Ramjitan. Also present were members of Parliament, Reynard Ward and Donna Matu, along with other members of the ASC. This newscast accompanied the ministers and their convoy to Lightung Village to hear what residents had to say. The road caused this bank to be like this today. Very few houses. Now, I go in, I get, I go in now, got getting down now, getting old now. And this road would be, to me, it, like, it would be in the same shape. Look at the trenches. We is farming, we doing, we producing. But seems to be at the back here is out of the land. We in the in the land. We, and nobody, I mean this road, go at you take a look at Mara. See the condition of those people who they have to live under. Look at the roadside. You look through the bushes. Nobody Everybody just talking in office, but nobody do the actual work what they're supposed to be doing. I never got a pay slip since I working with integrated. How long, sir? I ten years now since I doing security. Last week I received October month salary. Yeah. And where you see we receive October month then we ain't get we ain't get November as yet, and we ain't gonna get none for December. And two, two and a half years since integrated takeover, and they never ever pay no NIS. I go in steady and check, no NIS, they never pay. I never get a pay slip as much from them. Because we work and we need money, it's Christmas time, I ain't get November month. I ain't get this, I ain't gonna get December. Maybe till January. The last workers. If we revoke their license, they will be out of a job. At least it pays, and it pays a little delayed. So the September payment, the people will get a mid-October. And so on. Right. But, but it pays them. My decision to the commissioner, after y'all made y'all complaints, was that if he's not doing the job properly, and yet he's collecting the monies from the schools and so on, millions of dollars, and he's not paying his work, revoke his license. The only other thing that we had proposed is to ask the ministry to pay directly to the workers. workers. But they said, no, that is not the contract. The contract is with them. That is the employer. Because you couldn't hand the money straight now. Education is paying him, and him then pays you guys. I, I, we, by law too, the contract was with the employer, so we couldn't take the money and give straight down to you guys. Otherwise, we now become the employer, in a sense, managing the, the, the thing. Um, it is going to cause some problems, but I, I, I thought that we would have been doing better. I didn't realize uh, it continues unabated like this. But we're going to talk to Maxine, um, and, and hopefully this will be ready. You don't see you or want to build. You want to build? Yeah, you get a water bill. Yeah, which you pay as the bill reach you. Now, in some cases, you notice right now it's about two months now we are now. You receive a no bill. I went in last month after seeing the one last month building coming and inquire concerning the position. The supervisor told me I actually concerning the bill. How much will I have here? Because always in account. Because up to now I receive a bill. They run through the computer, she asked the name, I gave her the name. She count up to a uh, count up. Eleven thousand and something. I said for what? I said but the last previous bill was three thousand eight hundred and something. How come so much? We have no bill for that eleven to now. And she stated that the bill is suing like that. And up to now. Nobody collect no bill up to now. Yeah, that region, until now they ain't calling. I know people from behind apply and they get called and I ain't get called. 
when you go and check in the same whoever did regional education or health or whatever that is what they're doing but they're doing that for a reason you know that so you can blame me and my government then of course now of course now when you do that, they say that you get rid of, you know, they, they get rid of all the sugar workers, they're going and say, now you're going on with hunting and those things like that. He was a Ario. And um, when I go into the museum, he knows nothing about secret building. They start to come and they start hybrid. So I go there and I meet him. He's a contractor man. I say, what are you All he's just doing, he just knock on the bush through the door to the Listen problem we have on the east bank. The engineer they do turn up on this spot. The engineer will move on see this with you. Sat down with me and I, and I sat on the sea defenses. We know we have to work the roads, the lights, everything. Um, we, we work so, so, so while we haven't satisfied every need, um, we have all intentions of um, doing that. After listening to the issues of the residents, the ministers made a pledge to determine and recommend solutions to such problems as soon as possible. Reporting for Channel 8 News, Renetta Kurt.